Hello my friend, welcome to my channel. Today we're gonna be taking a look at the QE Design pulley system. Plus, at the end of the video I'm gonna do a quick guide of how to install it. So, if you hate being tangled in the middle of your Pavlov session, QE Design offers a solution for just under 30 bucks for the 3-pack and a little bit over 30 bucks for the 6-pack, which is good if you have to play far away from your computer. So, let's take a look inside the box. All right, so inside the box, you're going to find the, the pulley systems. You're going to find these hooks with a screw, if you're not scared to mess with your ceiling. This is to put the screws on, but I actually don't use it. If you don't want holes in your ceiling, you can actually use this, just sticks to it. But I don't think that this comes out very easily. I think this is our very strong and yeah. This ring is when you want to do the triangle thing uh, to put like pressure off one pulley. And the way that you do this is actually, it's pretty easy. So you're going to have a pulley and like usually your cable goes through here. But if you want to do this, you're going to put um, like three pulleys from over here like this. And let me uh, just take another one to show it better and uh like this so these ones are gonna get stuck to the ceiling you know in different parts and you're gonna get another one to go through here and this one i'm gonna put the cable on so what what this do is it takes the pressure of only this one when you move a lot it actually pull all of the the other pulleys with it and we're gonna have this tiny thing over here that you're just gonna use to adjust. Okay, so for my setup, we're gonna use all six to do uh, to teach you how to do the, the triangle thing. And I'm gonna only use this because my ceiling is like just wood, you know, it's a unfinished garage ceiling. I don't even think it works sticking things to it, you know, so... Um, just gonna use this i actually don't use this i think that you only need this if you're gonna if you have a finished ceiling you know that um this is gonna make it stronger but like wood uh wood is totally gonna hold this so that's fine okay so this is my computer uh, i'm gonna have it plugged right over a 3.2 uh part that's like faster usb to run the games so over here I like the cable to go like straight to the ceiling so I'm gonna plug one over there and then I like to be a little bit far away from my desktop but not that far because you know uh, when you're playing PC VR games you always had to go to your computer to change stuff or to fix something so I think right over here will be fine. However, I have this big thing over here. So because of that, I'm going to have to go around it. Maybe like put one over there, one over there and, you know, put one in the middle or just go to the sides, you know, just like a little bit to the side over there. Let's see how I'm going to do this. Okay, so now I will be taking those to plug into there and let's see how it goes this you're gonna have to make like a hole to go through you know so you're gonna need a drill for that actually this is much bigger than Whew. because this drill is much bigger than this um i think you can see over there uh, i'm just gonna make a little pointy thing you know in the wood so I can stick this up and the rest of the hole is gonna be just like twisting this until it goes all the way. So let's see how it goes. Okay, so right here, um, as you can see, I just made a really, really tiny hole, you know, it's just this tiny. And the rest of it, I'm just gonna, you know, twist it until, this is already um, hard. So just like <laughs> twist, all the way and this is really strong um so let's go to the other one over here decided to do an l so 
the cable is not like always in the middle of my garage so i'm just gonna put like one over there one over there and then one over here right here you want to make just a tiny hole and that's it oh a little bit more i think yeah i think that's it and then you twist it and that's it All right, so I put um, one over there, one over here, and one over there. Making a terrible, <laughs> not even triangle, you know, but I think that would be okay. So you get the pulleys here and just hook them like this. Okay, so how you put all those together is you're gonna just you know as i said in the beginning put this ring thingy over here and you're gonna lock it right over there and then over there make it in the triangle i'm gonna need my both hands for this <laughs> this is how it's looking as you can see it's terrible <laughs> but i think we can you can we can do something about it the last one it's gonna go right over here and that's it that's how you do the, the triangle thing because that one is further away you know it's always the one that is pulling the most so what we're gonna do is we're gonna put these things right over there you know and lock it in place so it can get a little bit more room so we can have this in set in the middle and for this, I'm gonna use this. All right, it's not perfect, but like it stays, you know, in the middle. So this one is gonna work like this. When I move a lot, this is what's gonna happen. All right, this is it. Let's run the cable and see how it's doing all right so the cable here is good already um i let a little bit loose uh in the computer side so it doesn't force the usb port you know so it's running from here to there and then to here i like to leave like this much cable and uh, this is why i have my vr here with the bobo vr head strap and this is what I like to do. To not uh, put too much pressure in the USB-C port, you know, like it's always pulling um, like this, you know, it's it, pu uh, it puts too much stress in the USB port. What I like to do is I put something to hold the cable on the other side of the, the USB-C port. So this is how it goes. Okay, it first runs from here. And then you go like around the headset and plug it over here. What this does is um, it takes the pressure, you know, look how it's loose over here is not putting any stress or it's now because like I'm pulling very much, but um, this is, oh, but this is it. You go around, set it on the top there, and that's it. So if you have a Bobo VR, that's a tip for you. Everything here, it's already set up, so let's game. Okay, so we are here in Blade and Sorcery, and as I said, this pulley system, it gives you like uh, freedom to do, you know, your um, Geralt of Rivia impression and impressions and stunts. You know, you can just move around, jump from side to side without the cable getting to, in the middle of it. As you can see, it just gives you freedom, you know, to move around. And I cannot play PC VR without the pulley system anymore. Like, once you try it, 
and you see that you don't actually need the cable getting in your way and this is like a terrible thing that happens but this is the only thing that got me playing the quest version of games you know because you have more freedom with the quest version when you are like instead of moving your tongue you're actually moving from side to side you know it's so much immersive and like a vr shooter game like padlock you actually can never touch the right thumbstick to move around you just look from side to side and it's so good Right, so this is it guys. This was a review and the setup guide. I hope I helped you. And let me know in the comments, will you buy this? Were the cables getting in the way of your foot while you're playing it? Let me know. And until the next video.